Over 10 years ago, Debbie Hodges started serving in our children's ministry and she's just done an incredible job. And in case you haven't heard, she feels like it's time for her to maybe move to another part of the church ministry. She's already doing several things, serving on our biblical leadership team and, and helping serve with our, with our kids also. But she came to me, actually we were, I think, meeting at Boone's Creek Middle School. And we were having, to, we had this trailer, we had all our stuff, we were packing it every week and then we would unpack it every Sunday morning, set it up and it was a task. I had a lot of people help us and we made it through those times and God blessed us. But while we were there, you know, we have some faithful volunteers and some of our women who were stepping in and really helping out and, and serving our, our children. But it was during this time that Debbie came to me and she said, I would feel like God would have me to help serve our children's ministry. And, and I'm like, that sounds great, you know, uh, let's, let's go for it. And she began to serve and give leadership to our children's ministry. And that was, like I said, I think over 10 years ago that she began to do that. And she's been with the servant in that area ever since. She has done so many things in the area for our children's ministry. She has read so many books and gone to conferences. She's done so much to try to understand the culture of our children today and to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. And for that, we're very thankful to Debbie and her service. Here's something you may not know. When Debbie came to me at Boone's Creek Middle School, and said she would like to serve our children. She was a full-time nurse at the Johnson City Medical Center. And I think she worked specifically with back um, injuries, back patients, and I heard that she was fabulous at that also. But somehow God spoke to her and put on her heart to serve our children. And she left that profession just completely and began to serve our, our children's area. There's a lot of things I think of when I think of Debbie Hodges and I think of how faithful she's been in ministry. You know, in Colossians 1, 7, I think the last part of that verse, it says a faithful minister of Christ and that's what she has been in this specific role. You know, Debbie has faithfully fulfilled her duties and had her tasks covered whenever she was away. She secured volunteers and helped in the children's area when, when new people were, were needed. She knew how to do all of that. And, and here's the thing, when we follow Jesus, we are not only need to take up our cross and, and follow Him, but also follow through in the ministry that He's given us. And Debbie followed through and she followed Jesus in the area of our children's ministry. And I'm thankful for that. So she's been so faithful in ministry. You know, another quality I've always noticed in, in Debbie is a love for God, a love for people, and most importantly, a love for children. And in Colossians 1, 4, it says, we have heard your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you have for all the saints. And I think that's something that is so true when it comes to Debbie Hodges. You know, Debbie possesses a love for families and she has loved our children. And this is not some shallow kind of love, but the kind of love that makes sure that every boy, every little boy and every little girl would realize that Jesus loves them too. You know, something else that I have always noticed in, in Debbie was that her heart's desire was to know Jesus and is to know Jesus but also for children to know Jesus Christ also. And in Matthew 10, 13 through 16, you know, people were bringing children to Jesus. And when the disciples uh, saw this, they, they actually rebuked them. And Jesus made it a point to say the kingdom of God, if you want to come to the kingdom of God, and whoever belongs to the kingdom of God, you've got to become like little children. And he took them and he, he blessed them. He held them in his arms and he placed his hands on them and they had his blessings. And our children, if your child has had the opportunity to come through our children's ministry, they have been touched by the hands of Debbie in one way or another and by Jesus. So it was never a secret to me, the church staff or, or the entire you know, children's 
department area, we got to see a glimpse into the heart of Debbie. And she pursued, I believe, knowing Christ more and was intentional with materials and her skills and the ministries that, that she would decide upon for our children and all of those things which would help our children grow to know and love Jesus Christ. I believe she prayed that the Spirit would draw them, our children, to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and many of them have. And for that, we're thankful. Something else I've always noticed about Debbie is her servant mindset. And Debbie has just humbly served the kids in our church. You know, you can serve a lot of different ways, but to serve with humility is a, truly a great quality to have as a follower of Christ. I mean, she knew that there was a need for someone to give leadership to our children's ministry. And she has done that from the day that she accepted that call from God. And, you know, like I said before, she didn't have enough volunteers. She would step in there and she would fill, fill those gaps, uh, even herself. Debbie knew that the Lord, and she knows, and her labor was never in vain, according to 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. And she wanted to show kids how to become servants. In other words, Jesus with skin on. We talk about that around here some. And I think one of the examples of that is how she's given leadership through the years for to take our children to the day center. Just one of many examples. To go up there and to serve those individuals and to love on them and to pray for them and to play games with them, to help them in whatever needs they may have. And what a joy to be able to go up there and, and to be in the presence of those people and love on them. And God put that vision in Debbie's heart. So many other visions around the church I could share with you. That one is one in particular that means something to me. And we're grateful for her leadership in that area. After the children would minister there, they would often go back to Debbie and Stan's home and they would have a swim party and something to eat, usually lunch there, and just have a great time together. I also love how she incorporated, she always incorporated our students into the children's ministry. And I don't know if you noticed, but we have a wall back there in the children's ministry of just student volunteers and how they, they serve inside those classrooms on Sunday morning. So if you know Debbie, you know her heart and you know her servant heart. You know how she desires that whatever she does, that it brings glory and honor to God. And there's no replacing a heart like that. Only God can bring someone else along to give leadership to our children, and He is doing that through Sarah, and we're thankful to God for that. So we are so blessed to have had Debbie to serve our children for over 10 years now. We're grateful. As a church, I know that you will give her a hug, that you will thank her for all the ministry that she's done for the children. And, you know, something interesting I haven't shared with you is through all these years, we've tried to financially compensate Debbie, Debbie some, and she would never receive anything from the church. She's always just served served, served. Even taking her and Stan's resources and replenishing uh, supplies th through the years and giving so much, I could just never tell you how much uh, they've, they've given, especially in the children's area. And so we're thankful for that also. 
So Debbie will continue to serve uh, in the children's area. She's going to be helping them in the transition and also continuing to take her turn serving the children in there on Sunday mornings, just stepping out of the leadership role. She's still going to be here. We're thankful for that. Um, she looks like she's going to be moving maybe toward our prayer and care ministry. I'll be sharing more about that, but uh, I think she'll be fabulous at that. And like I said, I think earlier, she's going to continue to serve on our biblical leadership team, which helps give direction uh, for us as a church in a biblical way. So Debbie, on behalf of everyone here at Believer's Church, we could never, ever repay you. But today we honor you and we're thankful for your service to Believer's Church, to our children's ministry. We will forever be grateful. We thank you and we love you.